I long for the day that our roles are reversed, and it's your head stuck on the bow of the ship. Hey, Murray, anything on the horizon? Only your eventual ultimate obliteration. Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. Hello. Is the flag for sale? Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Can I join the chums? Well... Please? Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them, show them your lure, and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can, then come mm. back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. Closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. I show this to other people who have them to start a storytelling session. Well, I don't see a chum's lure anywhere. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. You know, what your story needs is a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like... I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at sword point. And then, all of a sudden, My ship was swallowed by a whale. Yeah, that's the way. Obviously, you're new at this, but don't worry. Other chums can show you more of the ropes. Okay. Wally? What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? 
Uh, I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. Who could have done this? I guess LeChuck. Obviously. This is all that's left of Wally's standard-sized maps, globe, odd-sized maps, and boxes of other maps. Well, they left behind the solid gold compass rose. This was no standard plundering. These maps were Wally's life's work. At least I assume so. Hi there. Hi there. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Did someone get married, or killed, or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped, through the digestive system, ship and all. I think you've got a lock on it. Seems like you've got a few keys on your ring. Now talk to some other chums to round out the set. I'll do that. Your pirate flag doesn't look quite right. Is it a replica? You have a good eye. You should curate a museum. The real one is too valuable to keep out here. I've got it locked in the storeroom. There's already been an attempted theft. What's that thing? Uh, nothing. I've got a story for your newsletter, if you're interested. Let's hear it. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped, through the digestive system, ship and all. I'll get back to you. Chums? Um, not saying anything. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. 
and then we escaped. Through the digestive system, ship and all. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at sword point. And then, all of a sudden... My ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping linebreaker, if ever there was one. And then we escaped. Through the digestive system. Ship and all. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. I have given you my best tip. See if you can get some other chums to do the same. I'll do that. Now that I'm queen, I'm having the castle deep cleaned with plenty of boiling hot water. Now that I'm queen, I'm having the castle deep cleaned with plenty of boiling hot water. That should do it. Hi. Hi. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush, you've joined the chums. I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at sword point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping linebreaker, if ever there was one. And then we escaped. Through the digestive system. Ship and all. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at sword point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping linebreaker, if ever there was one. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. Fortunately, the average salt can't tell the taste of mermaid from any grump you might find in your creel. And then we escaped. Through the digestive system. Ship and all. I think you've got it. This could be a whole new path for you, Guybrush. You know who you should talk to? Apple Bob? You'll have to go back to LeChuck's ship, of course, but he's worth it. Thanks.
Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping linebreaker, if ever there was one. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. Fortunately, the average salt can't tell the taste of mermaid from any grump you might find in your creel. And then we escaped. Through the digestive system. Ship and all. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish. Glistening like liquid silver. Dashing through the waves. Stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, My ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. And then we escaped, through the digestive system, ship and all. Dazzling. You weave a story, like a wicker placemat with a mosaic of coffee stains. Is that good? Tightly woven and useful. The coffee stains give it character. You should tell a story at the Cod's Wallop. Hello. Greetings, fellow chum. <gasps> Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking mm. it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden... <gasps> my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin mm. tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby declare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. Is it all right if I take this flag with me? That would be within your rights as a well-respected chum of the highest order. Seriously? Sure to treat it nice. It doesn't need more holes than it's got already. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about 15 by 15 and full of holes. 
That's two flags. I can see parts of the map through the holes. Maybe I need more flags. This replica flag doesn't quite fit. I need the real ones. They were all in on it, but Threepwood was the ringleader. First he's banging me and the other skulls around with a femur, forcing us to sing musical notes against our will. Then he's shouting nonsense like a drunk parrot, and he takes a bite out of a squid's arm. Right after that, that's when the earthquake started. Still, it could be a coincidence. You find a shark in your swimming pool, that's not a coincidence. Tiny writing. New serial numberless lock. Any chance you'll have the real flag on display anytime soon? Oh no. Too valuable. It definitely stays in the storeroom. Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Hmm, <laughs> Mum would be proud. I'm not sure what I'm waiting for now. I'll just leave the replica flag in its place. Maybe you won't notice the real flag is missing. to do I can't get Stan back here after that argument <sighs> if only I'd made copies right away what was I thinking now I'm right back where I started uh, excuse me are we interrupting no sorry what can I do for you gentlemen we'd like to purchase some razor bombs we're running low and we want to prevent hair loss and trim excess belly fat you Wait a minute. Where did you hear that name? We read a flyer. We heard supplies were limited. The flyer! That's my mock-up. My one-of-a-kind, impossible-to-replace, project-saving flyer! Do you have it? Please tell me you have it. Ah, sorry. It, uh, fell into the sea. Fell into? <laughs> like it wasn't your fault. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was yours. Wait, I know. You could ask the nice blonde pirate for a flyer. Blonde pirate? He's the one who gave it to us. Oh, he sails around in the weirdest looking little ship. This must be that old toothbrush Stan wanted. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about 15 by... The holes of the three flags line up and show one exact location. I'll mark it with an X. Someday, all this will be mine, and it will burn.
This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. We shouldn't linger too long, given the number of leaks this ship undoubtedly still has. This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. My lungs are full of delicious air again. Looks like I've tracked you down. Really far down, actually. It's shiny. I'm not superstitious, but I've seen one too many angry ghosts. I better split. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret... <laughs> is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be! Oh, what a great patch of ocean this is! So full of nothing! It has some sea slime, maybe, but still one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. I can't decide which is more disturbing. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Unexpected. Welcome. Yikes.
this must be Whitey's stolen key. That's the last key. Voodoo Shop, here I come. Threepwood has all the keys? That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can't say the same for you, however. Ah, you're betraying me? I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. Closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. Oh, whoops, I walked right by it. The secret's back there in the voodoo shop. The moment of truth is at hand. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. Easier than I imagined, but still beautiful. Go. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. Now there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. This is not a problem. The key is probably somewhere obvious. Three four. Ah. Ah. LeChuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end, with just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepwood. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me, and count to a hundred before you leave the building. A hundred. Guybrush! Whiteybone said she saw you come in. Are you alright? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The Chuck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. 
The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. That did seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. I'll definitely have to take notes next time. Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. What effort? That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to mention the trail of destruction you've left in your wake. Oh, nonsense. Give me 12 examples. <laughs> if you meant to challenge me, you should have gone for a larger number. Odina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. That's quite impressive. Even for you. It took way more than five minutes. I had to win a bunch of contests first. Yes, Odina told me your joke. Uncomfortable under the arms. Quite funny. Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. It wasn't poison. It was just hot pepper. She was fine an hour later. I did have to convince her not to file suit. You owe me one. I appreciate that. Incidentally, I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. I thought something felt different this morning. How many is that now? Four? Did you know the Museum of Pirate Law has shut down? You don't say. Two of its prize exhibits went missing. Curiously, there was only one name in the guest book. I used a pseudonym. How did you know it was me? My T Pirate. It wasn't hard to figure out. Doesn't everyone use that one? Herman Toothrot is also a little upset with you. He says you took his key and left him in a dark cave. The magic sign only works with one person, and I didn't have any way to know that in advance. Well, you'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. I am happy to know that. Thanks. Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just... I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. What exactly are you expecting to find? I have no idea. That's why it's so important that I find it. Well, be careful what you wish for. Here we go. Just like old times. Are you ready for the caverns? Uh, I remember them. There are mushrooms. Big ones. Oh, Guybrush. Even in the caverns, probably only 80% of those are deadly poison. How about I remove your liver so you don't have to worry about it? Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. I'll catch up. Hey, Wally. How's it hanging? Seriously, that's the joke you were going to use right now? Eh, I'm trying out some new material. Don't quit your day job. Wally, what happened? As if you don't know. How did you end up here? I saw your office had been ransacked. LeChuck came into the shop storming mad because he thought I gave him a mop map instead of a map to the secret. Yeah, real head-scratcher how that happened. Thanks for the C-map. That was really great, and I owe you for all the work you did for free. Glad you liked it. That mop map you made for me was a winner. Oh yeah, that's right. I did make you a mop map. Wait! It's all starting to make sense now. Why is it that every time our paths cross, good old Wally is kidnapped or tormented or worse? The mysteries of how the universe works may never be known. I wish I could get you out of those shackles. You and me both. Yeah, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get the secret before LeChuck does. Sure, run off. Wally will be fine.
It's a bit late in the game for that. Not for long. I'm just here to tell you that you are making a mistake. The Chuck's obsession consumes him like a frog swallowing a tarantula. You don't want to be there when he opens that chest. Correct. I want to be there before he opens it. Ugh, you two deserve each other. Yeah, that's right. Run! I can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. Okay, here goes. Lachuk, I'm coming for you. you, Threepwood! I should have gotten rid of you the first 58 times I had the chance. You will never make it down here alive. Just once I want this to be easy. Only the organized pirate will pass. It looks proud to be a monkey. It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone. I'm naming it Captain Squint. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. I can relate. I wonder if the parrot had anything to do with the eye. I wonder if the parrot had anything to do with the eye. Yep, it's made of stone. Yep, it's made of stone. Yep, it's made of stone. Only the organized pirate will pass. It looks proud to be a monkey.
only the organized pirate will pass. Well, I've only got one coin left. Chuck, the secret will never be yours. I hate solving puzzles more than I hate street wood. The secret will never be yours. Three wood, won't you ever give up and just go home? Once is a coincidence, twice is suspicious. Only the observant pirate will pass. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first. Cheer up, little guy. You'll go far.
The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swab. Cheer up, little guy. You'll go far. But Chuck, the secret is mine! You really do suck at puzzles, don't you? How are you still alive? You will never have the secret. I will soon have my revenge. Then you will forever be cursed. And you will never escape. You will vanish with no tails. No! I will return! The secret is mine! Third time, be a charm, three weed. <laughs> Next time, I keep my voice down. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. It looks like its arm is hurt. It looks like its leg is hurt. This is gonna be a problem. There's no way I'm getting through there.
It looks like its arm is hurt. It looks like its arm is hurt. There's no way I'm getting through there. This is going to be a problem. That didn't seem to do anything. This is going to be a problem. There's no way I'm getting through there. That didn't seem to do anything. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife.
I don't think bloodthirsty is meant to be taken literally. At least I hope not. any more possible escape routes. any more possible escape routes.
any more possible escape routes. I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. One of those mystery stories where the person has so many enemies the detectives don't know where to start. stone slabs from the altar seems to have fallen off during the rumbling. There's some writing on it. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, so they fell off the deck, and they met Davy Jones for some tea. After all I've been through, finding some limericks on a piece of stone sinking into the lava isn't all that strange. stone slabs from the altar seems to have fallen off during the rumbling. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck and they met Davy Jones for some tea. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck. And they met Davy Jones for some tea. I was just deep in the mushroom and lava-ridden caves under Monkey Island, and now I'm... Oh no. Not yet. Score! Free popcorn! High Street, 20 feet. Hall of Pirates, 3 minute walk. Additional restrooms at Dinky Island. Glad you finally made it, kid. What, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Guybrush, 
Are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. Each time I come here, Stan really ups the challenge. But it's still LeChuck 0, Guybrush Threepwood 6. The secret is mine! Dang, Stan makes LeChuck better every time. The secret is mine! Nice twist adding in Madison, Trent, and Lila. The team up had me fooled for a while. The secret is mine! Well, Back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. Heck, nabbit, it's locked. If only the- Yeah, I should have suspected Stan's involvement the minute I saw how cheap and gaudy this is. It's Stan's key ring for turning off all the lights. This key doesn't fit. What a stroke of luck. The locksmith, that was disappointingly easy. I wonder what's going on. Interesting. I found the secret of Monkey Island and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. It's empty. The switch is locked. The switch is locked. Switch is locked. Historic Landmark, the original secret, a pirate adventure park. Established 1989 by R. Gilbert. Elaine, thank goodness you're here. Of course. Where else would I be? I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. But we shouldn't stick around too long. I was just underground on Monkey Island, and now we're on Melee? Things just go by in a blur sometimes when you're having fun, don't they? I got the secret! You finally did it! I hope it was worth it. I'm gonna have to think about that. How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say, I made my point. How did you get here before me? You know I always try to stay a step ahead. Have you done something new with your hair? Got ruffled in the fight. I like it. I'm ready to go. Good. Me too. And it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 really silly. That's different. We're kids, and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. You have to tell me what you really found in the chest. Your mom was right. It's better not to know. Once you have an answer to a question like that, you lose the most important part of it. Imagining the possibilities and talking about them with other people is way better. Mom! Dad won't tell me what the secret is! Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. 
<laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Yay! I found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there.
Hey, want to see my m Ever since I was a One time. Oh, then there was the time I act- Oh, these- Serving on the Chuck ship was an interesting experience. These are from the time I found the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, here's that. These are from the time I found the secret of Monkey Island. I started my voyage at the Scum Bar, but right away I could tell it wasn't going to be like old times. The new pirate leaders were focused on sacking and pillaging. But plunder stats aren't everything. I made the unusual decision to join LeChuck's crew as a way to get to Monkey Island. I learned more than I ever wanted to know about mops. Serving on the Chuck ship was an interesting experience. I grew to like the crew. I forgot all about looking like a zombie and starting a mutiny and seizing the ship. Gullet was my supervisor. Not a very pleasant guy. Putra was really happy when I got her promoted to chef. I got thrown off the ship, but that was okay. I'd gotten as far as I needed to. My disguise held up great right up until we were nearing Monkey Island, when it, um, well, there was a failure. The actual return to Monkey Island was not what I expected. We all thought the secret would be on the island somewhere. Everybody had a map, some more useful than others. Elaine and I rebuilt my old ship, the Sea Monkey, so we could sail back to Melee. And I learned some deeply personal things about my nemesis, LeChuck. The temporary pact I made with my enemies turned out to be about five minutes more temporary than I had hoped. It was a race to get to the secret first. LeChuck teamed up with Madison, but that was never going to last. Madison was scheming to betray LeChuck. Lila was scheming to betray Madison and LeChuck. I'm not sure Trent ever thought very far ahead. Whitey Bones told me all about the Golden Keys. Elaine had a lot on her plate, but she was with me in the end. Carla handled earthquake relief as best she could under the circumstances. I broke Stan out of prison. Wally was kidnapped. The voodoo lady disappeared. I unseated the reigning queen to become the last queen of Bermuda. I visited Herman Toothrot in his cozy hermit cave. We chased the Chuck back to Monkey Island again, and I tracked him down. Elaine held off Flare Gory while I went into the monkey. Someone had devised a series of themed pirate monkey puzzles to keep out the unworthy. I made this mock-up of the final puzzle. I think it's pretty neat. I found Wally! Oh, shoot. I wonder when this fell out. Wait, what's this? 